Welcome back, everybody. Here on Daybreak, we love celebrating the great kids who make Western New York a better place to live. And today, I want to introduce you to a local high school senior who's about to battle it out for the volleyball state championships this weekend. And that might be easy compared to a recent battle that she just fought and won. And that's why she is this week's great kid. I enter onto the court and like all my worries go away. Not those typical teen worries either. Hannah Mulhern is talking about beating brain cancer and learning to walk, talk and play again worries. I got to take it one step at a time, you know, got to learn to crawl before I can run. It was just nine months ago when this star volleyball player for St. Mary's of Lancaster started experiencing excruciating headaches and numbness. In February, test results revealed the source of that pain was a brain tumor wrapped around part of her spine. It was at the base of my brain and it was on the biggest nerve in my head. So they said that if it hadn't like, like invaded the nerve, then I would have never felt it and I would have either died or been paralyzed. Doctors performed emergency surgery on Hannah's 17th birthday to remove as much of the tumor as they could. She asked them to postpone her next brain surgery so she could take her AP exams. She passed them with flying colors. And after her second life-threatening surgery, she took her SATs. Um, I did all right. I got a 1460. That's right, a 1460. Hannah also maintained a 4.0 GPA while participating in yearbook club, National Honor Society, and Science Olympiad. Her math teacher, who tutored her in the hospital, says Hannah's spirit and determination is inspirational. She's changed us all for the better, and never have I seen somebody with the courage and the, the fight that she's put up. She's also a fighter on the volleyball court. The six foot two middle hitter has helped her team win the state Catholic championships the past two years. She says there was no way a little brain tumor was gonna stand in the way of making it three in a row. Oh, I was immediately thinking about how I could win another state championship. So before she could even walk, Hannah was at every practice in her wheelchair. And little by little, she retaught herself how to play the game she loved. When she was back, like everyone, like, it was like a miracle, and we were just so happy. The, the kid is just a competitor. She's a survivor. They're just an inspiration to anybody that, that comes in contact with her. Hannah certainly has the talent to play volleyball in college, but instead, she's choosing to focus on her studies and plans to pursue a career in something she knows all too well. I want to major in neuroscience in college, so learn a little more about all this and hopefully help a kid someday. She is one of the most remarkable young ladies I have ever met in my entire life. And Santa, Hannah still has to have regular MRIs to ensure that this rare aggressive form of cancer, this brain tumor, doesn't come back. But she's feeling ready to go as team captain with the Lady Lancers this weekend. And once again, the state championships in volleyball are on Saturday. Hannah couldn't walk a couple months ago. Yeah. And now she's team captain and leading her team to the state championships, hopefully three in a row. Tenacity, athleticism. Oh, yeah, and she's also very smart. 1460 on the SAT. Eh, that's not too bad. Certainly a great I kid. did 14 on the SAT. <laughs> Let's get a check of the roads right now with Dave Cash. Hey, Dave.